Hello everyone. A functional update today is slightly shorter than usual. I've been on vacation for a few weeks so I don't have that much to share with you. But I thought I'd use today as an opportunity to tell you what UX research will be working on in the coming weeks. So I thought I'd start today by telling you about the three themes um, and these three themes are the merge request page, notifications, so things such as subscriptions to issues and to do's, and dashboards and I'll go into each of these in a bit more detail in a minute but first I wanted to explain how and why we picked those themes. So firstly the other Sarah collated all issues which have been tagged with the UX research label. She also pulled together any issues which had the UX label and had a milestone assigned to them within the next six months and from there I was able to scan through the issues and see which were similar and I felt were interlinked in some way and that could be tested together. So we're trying to make our research efforts broader in scope because when we focus on one small thing in the interface, we lose a sense of the bigger picture. There's a risk that we create too many individual solutions within the interface and which when they're tested on their own might work well, but actually when they're all added together, the user journey becomes convoluted. We also want to focus on research and existing flows. So it's important that we understand the current usability of a feature before we start optimizing it as this allows us to measure the improvements that we're making. And it also allows us to get a better understanding of the scale of any problems users are facing, which helps us prioritize issues. And finally, it also means the UX designers will have a greater insight into the problems they are trying to fix before they actually start working on the proposed solution. So as I mentioned earlier, there's three themes and I'm going to be looking at them over the coming weeks. And these themes are in no particular order. The idea is, is that they can be worked on alongside one another. And every three weeks, the UX team will come together and we'll discuss the research that's been conducted on the themes. And we'll decide as a team what the next steps are, whether that's building a prototype and testing that, or perhaps getting an immediate fix into the next release. So one of these themes is the merge request page and we're hoping to address questions like what are users current pain points with the existing layout of the merge request page. So for example, is it frustrating locating the merge request widget on merge requests which have a long description? Are the branch details clear? Is the status of the merge request obvious? Another theme is notifications. How do users get work done? Are they using to do's? What control do users want in relation to managing their notifications? And what notifications do users want to receive and in what format? So for example, is it within an email or is it within the interface? And the final theme is dashboards. So what dashboards do people use? What information do users want on a dashboard? And how is that impacted by a person's job role, their project methodology they use, or perhaps the size of the organization they work for? So how can you help? So I'd like you to share with me any insights or thoughts you have on these themes. For example, perhaps you work in support and you receive a common query in relation to one of these themes. Or maybe you work in sales and you had a discussion with a client and it sparks an idea about what could be improved. And if you're a developer, maybe there's something that's really infuriating you and you're wondering if it's affecting more people than you. So any ideas, thoughts, assumptions, or even just questions that you're curious about please go to the relevant issue and drop me a comment. It can be as short or as long as you like. You can link me to other issues. You can drop me instance and desk tickets. At the moment, the issues themselves are very brief with a few kind of rough thoughts on there. And if you're not sure if something is within scope, again, just drop a comment on there and we can take things from there. And I'll collate all the feedback and I'll use it as a basis for my research. And then hopefully in the next update, I'll be able to share with you how users responded. Has anyone got any questions? Hey Sarah, this is Sid here. Um, so um, I, th I think the, the whole new navigation, you're done with that, you have a new navigation that's getting shipped under a feature flag and you're, you're gonna move on to the next thing because you're in advance of any changes the, the rest of the UX team makes. Yes, exactly. So Chris has gone away and he's taken that research and he has proposed a new navigation structure that is going to go behind a feature flag. Um, so users, we can get a controlled way for users to start interacting with it and getting feedback based on that. I'm still available for future rounds of testing, but we've have done now, I think it's three rounds of testing in total on the navigation. So 
we're feeling fairly confident at what Chris has put together so far. Cool. Makes a lot of sense. Thanks. Anybody else? Okay, well, I expect to see all your comments on those issues. Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.